Hello friends, uh, in today's video we will cover how we can create a Gmail account and the things which we will cover in this video that I have mentioned here so I hope you can check it, uh, check my screen also so these are the things which we will cover today so first thing which we will cover is how to create Gmail account for business or for personal use and the second thing we will cover how to send mail and the third thing which we will cover in this video tutorial how to add bulk attachments and some other functions which we can use in advance in Gmail account that we will cover. So first of all to create Gmail account, um, I'll come on to the browser um, Google Chrome. So from any browser you can log in and uh, you can create Gmail account. So this is the Chrome, um, like you can use it uh, Mozilla also, you can use it IE also, you can use it Safari, Firefox, anything you can use it and once you will come on to the browser you will see at the right top corner this function Gmail. So I'll click on Gmail option. So after this it will ask you to sign up, sign in and to create your account. So as we are beginner we are creating Gmail account. So we will do this create an account. So I clicked on create an account option. Yeah. So it's showing me this page, it is asking for the name, first name and the last name. So I am adding up here because I am creating as if now. So it's a step by step a tutorial, I am showing you how to create a Gmail account. So that's what I am adding up here. So I am adding here. PBC manager. I am creating for my business. So any name I can choose up. You can also choose any name, be it individual name or firm name you can add it up here. Right? So this is the username which you have to set. So I am taking on to the name which I put it up. The same name I am using here. PC manager company 2015. So this what I have added up here. Then it will ask me for the password. So you have to create password here only. So I am creating a password. It's done. It will ask you again to reconfirm your password. Done. Then it will ask you the date of birth. So you can add your date of birth here. That's what I am doing. Done. mail, gender, I have chosen up. Uh, no need to add your phone number here. If it's like you want to use it, your number here, you can add your phone number here. Your personal number, any number you can use it here, uh, like whatever number you are using. And the current email ID as like we are creating as if now, so I hope um, uh, you can add it up any email ID of yours. If not having, then leave it. It's okay. Then this, um, this is the character, special character which you have to write it up here. So done, then it will ask you to accept the terms and condition, then next time. Yeah, so it's done, it's showing me, it's showing me here, set up your profile, so you can see here, create your profile, so you have to click on create your profile. Then the next step, it will... Um, give you the confirmation that uh, you have successfully created the new gmail address new gmail account you have created this is the name username which i have used in beginning and it's done you can see ppc manager company 2015 at the rate gmail.com then click to continue to gmail so once you click to the continue to gmail it will land you uh, to the gmail dashboard only so from there you can use it all the gmail properties uh, whatsoever function they have provided over there so as it's showing me it's uh, taking me to the gmail account page so just wait for a moment till the time it's load it's very easy to use it's a step by step um, guidance i'm showing you so you can uh, follow it from your end and you can easily create this um, gmail account it's very easy to use also so it's done here it will give you some confirmation so no need to accept it just close this so i have closed this so this is, I am on to the Gmail interface 
and from here like if you want to send mail to other person to any company or to your friend or to any other um, individual so from compose you can send me so i'm showing you this is the compose i clicked on compose so as i clicked on compose so this is the page i got new message and uh, from here only you can uh, send mail to any person you want to send so i'm assuming that i have to mail um, i have to send this mail to one of my friends so he is @gmail.com done this is the subject line like this this is the subject line whatsoever mail the concerned person will receive we will get this subject line there so you can check it out what exactly uh, like uh, the topic is all about the subject is all about he delivered this mail so subject i am mentioning a uh, payment confirmation that i have made the payment in your account so it's a payment confirmation in subject line i have mentioned and here you can um, write the content which uh, you want to inform to him so you can write here kindly check the and close attachment for payment confirmation so this what i would like to share with him this is regards my name okay so from here like this you can do it and close attachment for payment confirmation so if i want to send uh, the uh, like if i have taken any screenshot for the payment if i want to send to him so the attachments you can do it add it from here you can attach attachments from here so this is the tab attach file so i clicked on attach file i landed on the setting page from here desktop i choose desktop because that screenshot is there on the uh, desktop page so i clicked on this is the screenshot so click down open so it's been successfully added up here and then you can send this like this if you want to again um, attach another attachment so you have to again click on attach another like this you will get every time option maybe next time you have to do it like this again you will get and any other attachment you can do it from here whatsoever attachment you want to add it up so like this you can do it attachments there like so like this you can send the same way you can do it every time and like this you have to send this so it's been successfully you will get one message that your message has been sent so to get confirmation whether it's delivered to the concerned person or not in the send mail you can check it out if it's delivered successfully you will get the details here that it's been successfully sent if it's showing in send mail that means it's successfully sent so this is like what how you have to use this gmail account of yours and this what i would like to share with you thanks for your time and keep watching my videos thank you